back to Sherry the Chef. Today is Sunday and it is the beginning of our Thanksgiving week, which I'm super excited about. Y'all know I love to cook. And one of my favorite things to buy right around this time of year is a pomegranate. I think they are just gorgeous in color and texture. I just, I think they're beautiful. I think they're festive. And usually about September through December is when they're in season and you can get them here in the United States. So I picked up one this week and I just wanted to show you the quickest way to de-seed a pomegranate. Years ago, I think I would cut them and then maybe soak them in water and I would try to pull the seed away from the pith and lo and behold that is not the quickest way to do this the quickest way all you need is a spoon something to cut your pomegranate with and a bowl so I'm just gonna cut my pomegranate right in half and then from there we are going to as a matter of fact I'm gonna besides making a mess <laughs> I'm gonna grab this and the first thing we're going to do is try to loosen this up just a little bit. So we're just going to kind of pull it apart. If you can see there. And you can kind of hear it breaking away just a little bit. So we're just loosening it up. And then we're going to turn it upside down. And again, all you need is a wooden spoon. So we're just going to beat on here. And it'll take just a little bit. Oh, see here, there you come already. But this way you don't get any of the pith in there at all. And a couple interesting facts about pomegranates is the word pomegranate actually means many seeds. And as you can see, there are a ton of seeds in a pomegranate. They're native to the Middle East. Like I said, you really only can get them around here, like September through December. And they're part of the berry family. They're considered a super fruit, which is probably why they're super expensive. <laughs> and with one of my favorite things about these is you can keep these up to two months in the fridge. Yeah, just a little piece of the pith that came out. I'm just going to toss that aside. And did you know a pomegranate tree can live over 200 years? One of my favorite things to do with these is to put them in salad, but you can toss them in some yogurt, you know, a fruit salad, some salsa, hummus. I like to use them for a garnish. So as you can see, they're just all about out of there. There's just a few down in here. That pretty much got them all out though, as you can see. So I'm just gonna take the other half real quick again. Whoops, well I didn't mean to bust it in half, but let's see, we can probably still get quite a bit of the seeds. <laughs> Yeah, so in just a minute or two, you've got pretty much all the seeds. There's just a few pieces, again, of the pith that I'm going to pick out of here. Looks like there's just a couple left in the corner. And there you have it. So that's it. I kind of <laughs> ripped that one at the end. But look how much easier that is than trying to sit in a bowl of water and pick these out. And these are great if we put them in the blender and then strain them through a cheesecloth and you can add it to drinks it's really really good but i just think these are so beautiful i think they look like little jewels Are they pretty <laughs> all right so i will see y'all back here tomorrow we're going to start working on some of the food that we're going to be serving for thanksgiving i'll see you then bye